G'day ZGD here. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly set up the new loot filter in Path of Exile. When it comes to actually customizing and creating your own loot filter from scratch, we'll leave that for a later guide. In this one I simply want to show you how to get one up and running. Now what is the loot filter? Loot filter is a new feature coming in the Awakening expansion pack that allows you to uh, specifically tailor how things are displayed, what things are displayed and what things are hidden. So for example you can see some things like I've got a pink border around here, I've got a border around a quality gem and I've got some light, light bordering around here. You can modify the the color of the text the background the border and even the sound that plays when it drops so the first step is going to be to find a loot filter that matches your needs now if you're going to create one yourself then you're able to do that uh, you don't have to learn that process and I'll create a guide for that later most likely but the first step is going to be to find a loot filter that someone else has made that you can simply copy paste now the best way to find these loot filters are going to be to looking on the path of exile forums to look at different streamers and the loot filters they're using to search for YouTube guides things like that and there'll probably be a few different tools that will allow you to sort of visually create your own loot filter as well for now, I'll put some links down in the description below to my loot filter and also a great loot, of loot filter I recommend by Neversync as well. Now once you've found a loot filter, there should be a description and instructions of how it works and uh, what they're aiming for with their loot filter. And then there should be a link to the actual code for the loot filter. It might be linked in the forum thread or it might be linked in something like Pastebin here. Now what you're going to do is going to go down to the source of the filter. So we have all of the text in here. And we can simply Control A to select all, and then Control C to copy that text. Now the next step after that is going to be navigate to your Documents, My Games, Path of Exile folder. And in here, you want to go File, New, or right click and go to New, and then you want to create a new text document. Now you can name this whatever you want, and this will be the name that displays in game. So here we can, here we can call this the Video Guide Filter, and have terrible spelling. Now the next step is going to be to modify the extension. Now if extensions aren't d showing by default uh, for you, then you can do something like this. You can go to properties and you can modify it just in here. So we want to change this dot text to dot filter. Now once you do this, you may or may not be able to open up the actual file with a text document. If you can't, you're going to want to go to open with and then you're going to want to select notepad from the drop down options under more options here. So once you've done that, you should be able to then open it with your text editing software, and you're going to be able to control V and paste all of that uh, t that code from before into the actual loot filter. And then you can simply control S to save, close it. Then you can go into game, then you want to navigate. So you open opening the options tab, you want to navigate to UI just here. And then there's a, there should be a list of item filters. Now, if this isn't displaying, you've either pasted the file into the wrong uh, folder, or you've not renamed it as dot .filter. If, it's not na if the extension isn't dot .filter instead of dot .text, then this list of item filters option won't show here. Once you have this, you'll be able to select a drop-down box of the different loot filters that you have installed, and then you'll be able to select the one you want. Now, once you switch to it, you'll get item loaded, item filter loaded successfully if there's no issues with the code. Otherwise, it will give you a bug and a line reference uh, output uh, saying that, you know, there's a bug on this line and that's why it's not loading and it won't load the actual filter. Now, if you create multiple filters, you can do that by uh, creating different named filters and having a list of them. This will allow you to do things like use different filters on different characters or use different filters for racing and things like that. So guys, as you can see, pretty simple stuff. Hopefully this helped you out on getting set up with this awesome new feature, such a sick addition to the game. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. That is it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.